Welcome guys to the end of 2023 and I'm just going to do a little video, a little review of my running year, my ultra year, um, whatever you want to call it. So guys, we're going to say in this video goodbye to 2023 and we're going to do a little review of my running year, my ultra year. So I'm going to take you on a little run with me. So if you like running videos or you like ultra marathon videos I guess, come and hit that subscribe, come and join me because this year I've got loads of races, I'm trying to do some smaller events in different areas. Um, some different races as I've done a lot of stuff repeatedly. So this year I'm trying to do everything I've not done or a lot of things I've not done. So let's get straight into the video. So it's the end of 2023 and I just want to appreciate everything I can do and everything what I'm capable for because I appreciate the small things as well as the big achievements over the year. So I appreciate that I can run hundreds of miles and climb the highest mountains that I've ever climbed this year. And that I'm, I'm that I've met and made so many friends and I feel like that gives me a true enjoyment and that is a true achievement over the years because what's the point in doing all this if we don't meet amazing people over the years? From this I love to reflect and see what we've done in the last years because without growth and appreciation I don't feel like we would overcome a lot of things in the year. We wouldn't be able to do a lot. Part of this year that I've been consistently been able to train um, even with an injury, so whether that was running, whether that was strength training or flexibility, I've been able to do that without having too much time off and it's been consistent throughout the year. Like, we all have our weeks off and months off and life gets in the way, but throughout the full year, we have been consistent and I feel like that's something I'm really proud of this year and I feel like it's a real achievement. I needed to do a race but I did actually think was impossible at one point. Chest 100, it was my third time doing it and I just thought maybe, maybe it's not the race for me but I wouldn't accept that to a point because I think everything's possible if you've got self-belief and I feel like anything's possible if you've got self-belief so I finished that in 31 hours I think, oh no 29 hours and it might not be the time I was aiming for but I got to that finish line. It worked out about 108 miles and I completed it and that's all that I asked for and I'm so proud that I did something what I thought was impossible. I've improved something else what I was proud of what I did really find hard at the beginning was that I improved our training and running all together as when I first started doing the running it really impacted my flexibility training and I did find it really really hard to meet and meet and help each other get stronger and more flexible but I feel like my body just had to adjust to the training like if you keep going your body just goes right he wants this you want this so we're going to have to go along with it so I'm so happy about my body this year was like yes you can do this we'll make it possible no matter if we didn't reflect on achievements it doesn't matter how big or small the achievements feel we would not be able to overcome stuff in the next year and improve and get stronger fitter so i'm just thinking at the moment thank you for all that and what I can do when setting up my goals in 2024. 2024 is going to be my biggest year yet and looking at these small achievements and the big achievements I feel like I can put together a plan and I guess that's what this video is more or less about is getting a plan together. I have done some amazing things over the last year. I did chest 100 as I've just said I've done the most hilly races what I've ever done in my life. I did Helvellyn, I've done but quite a few hilly races. Hilly races was not my thing at all. I remember thinking Manchester Marathon of all things was really hilly. 
and it's one of the most flat races ever and I found out with doing all these little tasks and trying to achieve stuff but actually I probably prefer hilly races I prefer fell running I just prefer trail and getting out there in the wilderness rather than road marathons and I feel like that's going to be one of my goals next year and I managed to work out a plan I feel like the biggest achievement this year was actually coming up with a plan um, to combine all my trainings and it all coming together after a year of trying to make it come together because I literally listened to what happened and what went wrong in 2022 and came up with a plan and next year I'll even come up with a better plan what will work with my lifestyle and my body even more but we're going to get in to a bit of a year review now and look at the stuff I have achieved completely and some stats and we'll probably go on to so i really don't know what to say i'm sorry about the echo it's raining outside this is the only place i can record i wanted to really do a review but i can't really do a review because i don't record everything on strava and i didn't think about that but to strava i've done 878 miles what i don't think is correct because i've done 200 miles i've done 200 milers 450 milers, a 40 miler, some marathons, some trail races, and my training. So I feel like just the races on their own come up to 400 miles. So whether it's correct, it's obviously over that. So I've definitely done over a thousand. Elevation wise, it says I've done 4,347 feet, meters, can't remember, whatever it records it on off Strava. Um, that's probably more correct because I train on quite flat terrain. I have done some hill training this year, but more, most of my training is on the flat. So that's probably more correct. Um, sorry, I'm just looking at my bullet journal. I do this every year. I tend, did it for six months last year, but I think it's a really good way on building habits. So at least, I feel like it really helped, even though I didn't do it for the full year, it got me into a routine. So hopefully again, that, that will work. But I really like the artistic side of it. So I tried to do clouds in the background. I tried to put like a review of 2023, but the pen doesn't go over watercolor. So, and I do want to get more into it here. I do want to get into more artist stuff. I do really enjoy it. I just never have the time for it. So, I might not have done all my goals I wanted and written down and spoke about last year, but does that really matter? Because I achieved so much and I'm really proud of myself because I've done hilly, hilly stuff. And to be honest, I've learned how to handle it. And that I really like it as if you asked me two years ago, I would have been like, nope, don't do the hilly races and this is one reason why I want to go back and do a lap because I really struggled and I feel like I'd be a lot better now so that might be a possibility in the next coming years and um, it sells out very fast so I just want to say I hope you're all proud of everything you've done in 2023 um, whether you completed all the goals, life gets in the way anyway, and as you should be proud of all your goals, no matter how small or big they are, and everything you've done, because life is hard sometimes, and just to get through life and be happy with yourself is an achievement on its own. So, I hope you've all had an amazing 2023. If you do like running videos and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, come and subscribe to me and come and join me on my ultra running journey and I will see you in 2024 and I might have a couple of extra videos coming up in the next week or so so stay tuned for that and have a wonderful 2024 and I'm trying to think of my goals so what do you think your goals are going to be in 2024? Drop them in the comments to give me some inspiration to give me some inspiration. So see you next time.